Yo, what's going on guys? Simon's Timmy's and wow, we have quite a bit of huge news to talk about today. So let's cut any long intros and just jump right into this, shall we? So at the time of this recording, today episode 127 of the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime aired on TV. The final episode before the Alola Lee begins. Which is dedicated to Lily trying to master a Z move while Gladiol continues his search for his father, Morn. However, naturally, because this is the final episode before the league, like I just stated, we got additional build up to this league within the episode as well. Such as the stadium had finished being constructed, and most importantly, the Masquiel actually reveals that the winner of the Alola League will face him in an exhibition battle. Like, what? Do you know what this could be alluding to, everybody? People who watch the moon on a weekly basis know exactly what I'm on about. This revelation is a strong hint towards Ash actually winning the Alola League, which is just crazy to think about. But before we dive more into my thoughts regarding that, just please bear in mind that nothing is confirmed yet, only subtle hints. I mean, we all know how the Kalos League went for example, so you never know with these writers. But with that disclaimer now in everybody's mind, let me explain to those confused to how this one scene could allude to Ash winning the league. Our first piece of evidence comes from the current opening, your adventure. Where within the opening, Kakui has a fantasy of battling Ash under the Masquerel alias. Now sure, this is only a fantasy, but it is a strong possibility that this is foreshadowing to the expedition battle. Backing this up further, a rematch between Ash and Kakui has been foreshadowed for quite a while. Such as both Ash and Kakui promised to each other back in episode 63 that they would have a rematch after Ash lost to Kakui. Which of course, because they haven't had that rematch yet, it could happen in this league. And finally, we did recently receive episode 125, which had Ash defeated young Kakui and inspired him to train his hardest to eventually beat Ash one day, which Kakui did. And Ash even unknowingly inspired Kakui to build a league within Alola. Which, because this episode aired three episodes before the Alola League, it could be a hint towards these characters playing a major role in the league. Which, however, to battle for the final match is very fitting. So, yeah. And that pretty much concludes all the evidence to suggest Ash winning this league. I mean, I guess you could also say that the games were evidence all along to Ash winning the league as well, as the Sun and Moon games were the first games to have no current champion, which is just a perfect excuse to have Ash win via Lola League, but I'm 50-50 on this hint. It's up to you to decide whether this was a hint all along or not. But regardless of whatever you think of that hint, the rest of the evidence is a very strong possibility to allude to Ash winning via Lola League. Which again, is just crazy to think about. But, you know what the crazier part is though? If Ash truly does win via Lola League, he would also become a Pokemon Champion. As Kakui did state in episode 115, that the winner will be quite a Lola's first ever Champion, much like what happened in the Pokemon games. Which, oh my fucking god, that would be too much for me to handle. The title of champion is just so fitting for Ash after all the extraordinary stuff he's done so far within this anime. But, again, let's just keep that disclaimer in mind as nothing's confirmed. Let's dial down this hype just a little bit just in case. In fact, I do believe Ash will only have this title of champion for around an hour or so. As I do believe that if he loses against the Masquerel in that match, which I'm honestly betting will happen due to the Masquerel being a stronger trainer in my eyes, Ash would decide to give up his title of champion to the Masquerel instead, so he can travel more and become stronger. Himself, even thinking it would seem a little bit redundant if he was to keep the title of champion, as he lost to somebody who clearly demonstrated that stronger. A majority of Alola and the league competitors then agreeing that the Masquerel is a worthy champion for Alola as well. The whole reason why I believe Ash wouldn't lose his title of champion after losing against the Masquerel and instead give the title to him is because I feel like it would seem a bit of a <laughs> move from Kakui if he decided that if the champion loses against the Masquerel that they would have to give up their title, despite the Masquerel not entering the tournament. Ash giving the title away just seems like a more logical and fair sense. And the whole reason why I believe Kakui would win against Ashira as well is simply because 1. Kakui was the one standing in your way for the champion front in the Sun and Moon games. 2. Kakui is just a strong trainer in general in my opinion. 
and three, it just seems so more fitting and even more of a fulfilling ending to have the Masquerel be the champion of Alola instead. As he's already seen by the public of Alola as one of the strongest trainers and even a role model. So, yeah. Hell, Kukui even made sure there was a battle royale round in the league as he knows it's a popular sport in Alola. Which one character who made battle royales more popular in Alola was himself under the Mask Real alias. That just further showing how much of an impact this character has on the Alola region as a whole. Which champions impact the region as a whole as well. But hey. If this theory of Ash giving away his title of champion is to be correct, at least Ash still won a Pokemon League like many fans wanted for so many years. In fact, I find this theory a great way of making Ash win a League for once. Himself actually winning all the rounds, but losing after the official tournament is over to show that somebody is stronger than him. Which then inspires Ash to continue travelling to train to become stronger and maybe even come back to take that title of champion one day. But of course, before he feels strong enough to take the champion of Alola for himself, I could see Ash learning about the Galar region after the Monarch, and how battles are the most popular entertainment in that region, which is why he then decides to travel to that region to continue his journey of trying to become a Pokemon Master. Like seriously, this would be such a perfect story. A never ending story. <laughs> As, come on, Ash isn't going anywhere. He's essentially the second mascot for the Pokemon franchise, so if the anime got rid of him for a new protagonist, it would cause some slight issues for the franchise in a business sense. I made a full part on this video once upon a time, so I'll leave that video in the description below if I remember. But anyway, getting back on track with my theory, I could actually be wrong about Ash losing against the Mask Riel here. He could actually win. And uh, much like what he did once he completed the Battle Frontier, he would still give up the opportunity he is given so he can travel more. Or who knows, maybe Ash won't win the League Tournament overall. As again, Ash winning the League isn't confirmed yet. This is all just speculation. Maybe Guzma will win the entire League instead, as himself having a battle against Kikui under the Mask Real alias would also be a perfect ending due to his and Kikui's relationship which was established in episode 115. This battle, allowing Guzma to realize the Mask Real is Kukui, and they would then solve their differences after Kukui wins against Guzma. But honestly, with all the evidence of Ash winning this league at this moment in time, I'm going to be sticking with the theory of Ash winning this league for now. However, if Ash is to lose this league though, I do want to stress that I will honestly be okay with it. As at the end of the day, I watched the Pokemon anime to have fun, and I even love seeing the differences in each Pokemon series. Sure, it'll be lovely to see Ash's journey and character finally be put to rest, but just as long as the anime continues in some form, and has the same feeling I've come to grow such a strong fondness for, then I'm okay with whatever happens with Ash's character in this league. Though, I will admit, I do kind of wish Ash won the Sinnoh or maybe even Kalos League instead of this Alola League if my theories are to be correct. That would have been more of a fulfilling ending as those two series was where Ash was at his all time best regarding strength and character development. He doesn't even have a fully evolved team in this series. But then again, evolutions don't always matter. And I'd still honestly be okay with Ash winning this League. Just, there was wasted potential in older series. And because of that, I completely understand if you wouldn't be okay with Ash winning the Alola League, if it is truly to happen. In fact, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this news overall and my current speculation. I'd love to hear, as we can have different opinions. And, that's always okay. With that said though, for everybody, now pretty much concludes today's video though. So if you're informed with the latest Pokemon news and enjoyed hearing my thoughts, then please be sure to consider leaving a like, a share, and if you're new here, a subscribe along with it to that bell icon to stay in loop with all things Pokemon anime related. If you want to support the channel any further way, I also have a Patreon. Thank you for watching everybody, this is Entity Maze, signing out.